Today, the semifinals. Number one seeded Steffi Graf of West Germany against number six seeded Kathy Rinaldi of the United States. Steffi Graf is knocking on the door of the top echelon of women's tennis. Behind her strong and consistent service and a fine forehand, Graf has climbed to third in the world on the WTA computer. Kathy Rinaldi can beat you from the backcourt, or she can let you beat yourself. She doesn't make many mistakes and can win on any surface, although she's most at home on the clay on which she'll play today. That's the matchup for the first semifinal in the Sunkiss WTA Championships next live on ESPN. ESPN, the Total Sports Network, presents... The Sunkiss WTA Championships. In the semifinal round, Steffi Graf versus Kathy Rinaldi. And in the second match, Claudia Cota Kilsch versus Gabriella Sabatini. And welcome to the Amelia Island Plantation in Florida. It is an exquisite day for tennis. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jack Edwards along with Mary Carrillo. And in the Sunkiss WTA semifinals today, First matchup, we have Kathy Rinaldi against Steffi Graf, and Steffi Graf is really on her way toward the top. Well, Jack, you just said that she was knocking on the door of the, uh, the top echelon women's center. She's pounding it down, and she finally came through with the big breakthrough last week where she beat Manuela Maleva, Hanna Monlikova, and finally Chris Everett Lloyd to win her first big event. I'm a real believer in Steffi Graf. I think she's the next number one. As far as Kathy Rinaldi goes, she's no stranger to this court. No, she's not at all. As a matter of fact, when she was 14 years old in just a few weeks, uh, back in 1981, she really first declared herself in, in the women's uh, tennis when she went all the way through the qualifying of this tournament and then beat a couple of seeds here as well. And so here's where we first got to meet Kathy Rinaldi. She went on to do very well. She's had her ups and downs, but in 85, she played very well. In 86, she intends to play just as well. Kathy Rinaldi and Steffi Graf, that is the matchup for our first semifinal here at the Amelia Island Plantation. We'll be back to hear from the competitors coming up next, so stay with her. I woke up this morning, took one look out the window and said, if I were shipwrecked and I ended up on this island, I would swear that I had died and gone to heaven. Beautiful day, 72 degrees, 48% humidity. It is not a factor at all. The wind, 14 miles an hour, but this is a very well-shielded court, a lot of trees around. I don't think it's going to be too much of a factor, and the surface is hard true, the green clay. And uh, just an exquisite day for a match of tennis, and uh, we got a couple of good ones coming up today. Mary, how do you think this is going to go? Is it going to be a long match? Are we going to see a lot of moon balls? Or are we going to see some more aggressive baseline play from these two? Well, it will be played largely from the baseline. No two ways about that, Jack. Uh, yes, it, it has potential of being a long one. But Steffi Graf was disappointed with the way she played against Laura Gildemeister yesterday. And as a matter of fact, she didn't feel that great either. It, the interesting thing with Steffi Graf is she said, I won the tournament last week and I never even thought about what it would be like to come back the, the week right after that and start playing again. <laughs> so she has struggled in form a little this week, different from last week, but I have a feeling she'll go out here and beat Kathy. Though as we saw the last time they met in New Jersey on a hard court, it was this player who won. There is a look at Kathy Rinaldi, and the professional from Stewart, Florida, 19 years old. Had a chance to look ahead to this match against Steffi Graf, and while she regards her opponent with an awful lot of respect, you know she has the confidence in herself that she can come out a winner today. Steffi is very motivated right now. She's got, you know, she's very hungry to play, and uh, her forehand's great. Um, and she's got a lot of confidence going into this tournament um, because she had just beaten Chris last week. So uh, I've played her three times, and the last time we had a really tough match. Um, but she's really improved, so it's going to be really tough for me. So many people have so many wonderful things to say about Steffi Graf. We heard what Rinaldi said. Chris Everett Lloyd said that last week when Steffi beat her, she said she played fearlessly. And uh, that is pretty much how she does play. Pam Shriver, who lost to Steffi Graf at the Virginia Sims Championships in New York, said, I hope she never decides to come to the net or we could all be in trouble. Well, Steffi Graf, who will come to the net when she has to, can really do a number up there. A lot of people first heard of Steffi when she won the 1984 Olympic tennis tournament, but uh, since then she has become quite a pro and she continues to build her reputation. Here is her view of today's match. Yeah, I mean, I've lost a couple times against her and the last time it was in uh, Marva in the finals, so it's always tough to, to play her because she never makes too much errors and I think she doesn't like it too much on clay court, so 
try to keep her running run around. I'm not sure if that's true, that Kathy Rinaldi doesn't like playing on clay courts, and good heavens, she grew up on this court, and I think she is very comfortable on clay courts, but I have a feeling that Graf thinks she is a better clay court player than Kathy. So I really do expect that Graf comes through and beats her today. Well, the players completing their warm-ups, and we'll be back to the Amelia Island Plantation for the Sunkiss WTA Championship semifinal round right after this on ESPN. This year's Sunkist WTA Championship is being brought to you by the Sunkist family, a family of products whose name means quality. It always has, it always will. You have our word on it. And by Michelob Light, super premium taste and a less filling beer. Who says you can't have it all? And by the Wella Corporation, the makers of Wella Moose and Wella Balsam. Nobody does it better. Jack Edwards and Mary Carrillo along with you live on ESPN. This is the Sunkiss WTA Championship semifinal round. Steffi Graf against Kathy Rinaldi. And our match today, the chair umpire is Tom Cook. And the coin flip was won by Kathy Rinaldi. And to no one's surprise, she elected to have Steffi Graf serve first. Rinaldi's ground strokes are going to make the difference for her one way or the other today. And that's true. And Steffi Graf certainly has the better serve of these two players. Kathy Rinaldi's return of serve is one of her best strokes. It's, it's still early in the season, and you can see just how much money this child has earned. That match win against Chris Everett Lloyd was very much the biggest moment in Steffi Graf's professional life, and it came sooner than a lot of us Ready? expected it would. First ball at 11 past one. Chris Everett Lloyd says this player right here has one of the best, if not the best, forehand in the women's game, which is quite a statement. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. And what makes that forehand so good, Mary? Well, she's so confident in it. I mean, so from a mental standpoint, <clears throat> she knows that it's her biggest gun. Uh, it's not technically perfect by any stretch. But she likes hitting it. Back. She's, 30, she's got an awful lot of power in the body. And she can hit the forehand from all parts of the court. Right on the line. That just one just wide. missed. So as you can see, she's, as Chris says, she's unafraid and fearless when she goes for that forehand. And she's found her range rather quickly. 30 off. to see Steffi Graf go so much to Kathy Rinaldi's backhand side because I consider that the best side of Kathy Rinaldi's game. Great point. Ow. And we go to Deuce. Rinaldi's second opportunity to break here.
five of the points that Kathy Rinaldi has won in this game have come on unforced errors. And that's the way she wins a lot of matches. Let's just self-destruct. Advantage Rinaldi. Very good. the issue but couldn't put it away at net and it is advantage graph Rinaldi just didn't do enough with this ball did she graph had plenty of setup time and though Rinaldi could get to that shot she couldn't do anything with it game point now Out. a long first game and this just underscores how tough Kathy Rinaldi's return of serve can be because as we say Steffi Graf has a very nice serve. Wonderful length by Kathy Rinaldi drew the error there. Great variation on the pace of her shots as well. well. These really are two of the more interesting baseliners in the game, I think. I think, you know, you can see their minds turning out there. So often you have pretty mindless looking uh, baseliners and they pound the ball hard and they hit, they hit well and stuff, but they're not putting a point together. These two are. First service, third chance to break for Rinaldi in the opening game of the match. Best of three sets. Yep. Kathy yeah. Rinaldi breaks. The Sunkiss WTA Championships in Amelia Island right after this. One love, Rinaldi leading as she comes out to serve. And is this match going to be more of who holds rather than who breaks? Because Kathy Rinaldi's service game is far from the strongest in women's tennis. Well, that's true. Jack, I have a feeling, uh, you know, especially on clay, too. I mean, that kind of, that breaks down a lot of serving advantages as well. So it could be a battle of breaks. I think Steffi will really be exploiting that part of Kathy Rinaldi's running game. Although she has really improved her lateral quickness and she moves a lot better now than she ever did. She still doesn't like being drawn to the net like that. That's the third time that Graf has done that and won the point. Yeah. 